Hi there, my name's Matthew from MB2 Studios and welcome to the first devlog for my game Teapot, where you play as a baby raptor in a very classic uh, 2D 90s inspired platformer. This game sees you collecting cats, meeting frogs and eating snowmen while you're trying to figure out why you've been sent to this strange land in the first place. Now, believe it or not, this game has actually been in development since January of 2019, that's over three and a half years. I've been working on it on and off since then, but finally this game is starting to feel really polished and fun and near completion. So I figured, well, it's about time I tried to actually market it. One of the best ways to market games is to create devlogs to show progress and build up the hype. But it's a bit late for that, so I figured to start with, why don't I compare an old version of the game from 2019 to a current build from today? Right, immediately we need to stop because look at this title screen, it's boring. You've got start or quit, and the background is just nothing, it's just blue. Now looking at the new version, it has a wooden panel border inspired by Super Mario World. The logo is new and much better and comes down on chains from the top of the screen when the game is opened. There's difficulty options when you hit start instead of the game just starting. And there's stars to indicate if you've beaten the game on those difficulties too. There's an extras menu with unlockable backstory scenes to explain the world of the game better, as well as a cheat option. The title screen alone is so much better and richer than in the 2019 build, and I'm hoping to add even more things to make the game more fun still. The next thing that I want to show is just the huge difference in the graphics. In the 2019 version, you get floating platforms that just look so odd, and in the new version, I added background terrain that gives the appearance that it holds things up in place. The item boxes too, since they actually are supposed to float, I gave it an animated sprite with magic type particles so it looks like it should actually be floating. I also added background water, and bridges and fishes that swim in the water. And this is a relatively small change now, but in the 2019 build, without realising it, I gave the snowman enemy a pumpkin head. I didn't think about it consciously, but I was definitely inspired by Minecraft snowmen. So now I've made them look normal and like they're just completely made out of snow. Uh, the cats that you collect also have different appearances and names instead of all looking identical, which is just a bit strange. And I also made it so that when you collect them, they turn into smoke instead of just uh, exploding into an exclamation mark, which makes it look like you killed them. I also added upgrades to the game, more specifically a health upgrade and an attack upgrade that you get just from playing through the game normally. The game also has multiple endings now, it has a good ending and a bad ending. And if you get the bad ending first, the game restarts you from the beginning, but you get to keep those upgrades that you've earned from the previous run, making it a pseudo new game plus mode. Keeping those upgrades from the start makes it faster and more fun on the second playthrough, and the reason for keeping the upgrades is also explained through the story itself, though I really want to keep the story as vague as possible at the moment, so I won't explain that much further. Lastly. The main game is actually completed and in a finished state. I could release it right now and it would be competent with no known bugs right now. In the 2019 build, once you got so far into the game, it just stopped. But now in the current build, the game has a very clear point of completion that is satisfying and fun to get to. So what comes next? Well, there's more enemies that I want to add to the game. I want to add a skins option, so where you can unlock new colour schemes for your character after beating the game on different difficulty settings. I want to add more graphical variety when playing on different difficulties so it doesn't feel as repetitive. And maybe even add more upgrades. See, the main game is finished, but there's still so much more that I could add to make the game more fun and most importantly, polished and replayable. So that's what the next few devlogs are going to be about. In the next episode, I'm going to fully develop a new enemy from start to finish. So I hope you'll tune in next time and keep watching this until uh, Teapot's released, which it hopefully won't be that long off.